Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Trade of the Week video. So the week ending 7-10 in 2022, the stock was BBBY, as in Bed Bath & Beyond, Triple BY as we call it. Date was 7-7 of 22, that was on Thursday. The strategy is based on a tier two gap entry on a one minute be the tail type of entry. And management advance reward risk 2.5 to one. Before we get started as usual, what's going on this week for free members of DTS. Monday is that bi-weekly scanning night. Be sure and be there. If you're a DTS member, you will get your invites in the mail Monday. If you're not a DTS member, head over to the DTS homepage and find out how you become a free member. Thursday, we're gonna do something new at DTS, just for fun, DTS trivia night, nothing educational, just for fun, a little get together. There will be some real prizes though. So come on by if you got some time, Thursday, five o'clock. You'll get an email with more information and with your invite later in the week. Here is the daily chart of BBBY. Nothing really strategic about the daily chart here because this is based on a gap. The daily chart simply was falling. This particular day we gapped up enough that we cleared enough stuff on that daily chart that it likely released some short buying as well as some potential people trying to go long for some reason down there. But it didn't really matter, it was a one day move. That's what it looked like after the day of the trade. The hourly chart is the one that shows the strategy the best here. We're going to gap to right there, which is just enough to do the job in this case. Clear the last three days. After that much downtrend, you're going to get some buying in there. It happened fairly quickly. You can see that little bottoming tail. That's going to be the entry. Next chart, the 15-minute chart, shows, again, the nice clearing of what we needed to clear right throughout there. And then the entry was really good on this one. It was a true be the tail entry just off the bottom of that tail, getting long over 470 stop under 455 and the trades underway you can see it move pretty quickly here target one target two target three the bad thing about this trade was i left half of it on the table a couple of comments about that number one you don't know when you're going to get a move that big number two the profit i had was really good on this and number three that last third should have been saved for the bigger move and i normally would have but in all fairness this morning i did have a little technical issue my internet flickered right at about 9.31, came back on, and I didn't want to be stuck with this, so I went ahead and exited fairly quickly. You can get a little better view here on the one-minute chart. Entry came in down there. Target one, just a couple, three minutes later on that really nice initial first pop. Target two, I just barely trailed out there before the nicer move. It would have been nice to add a nice target two and the whole target three, and then I trailed that target three because of the move that it had already. So that whole thing happened by 10 o'clock, target three all done and it did as you saw on the prior chart have a move that was about twice of what was there so a lot of profit left on the table on this one you like the trading style here planned out thoughtful trades most of them lasting half day to a day but sometimes they just happen quickly come join us in the dts trading room you can hop over to the dts homepage, go to the trading room and letters page and figure out how you can join us in the dts trading room until next time this is paul for dts good trading everybody